guess what, Pete? We got a new goat. What do you think? Guess what we got? This is Topper. He is our new Nigerian dwarf male book who is intact, who is super sweet, super friendly, just a sweetheart. Ain't there, buddy? Yes, and he does stink. Yes, yeah, see, if you don't know, books stink. The reason why they stink is, is they, they actually just pee on their face, and that's the way they attract the female to come to them. That is little Topper. Uh, we named him Topper to go with Tipper. You know, we got Tip, so this is Top. Mary Carl came up with that name, so it, we thought it was pretty cute. He's around 16 weeks old. He may be a little older now. We've had him for a couple, he may be around 18 weeks old now. Uh, we got him from Terry over there at Old South Farm, which I've mentioned it before. One of the most well-known, especially here in the Southeast, Nigerian dwarf goat farms there is that's where we got her from or got got him from why did we get a buck we already got tip well tip is a weather so he's been fixed tip's just a pet he that, that's all he is he's just a pet and just lovable and just tip <laughs> Sorry guys, it's getting warm. It was cool this morning, but it's, it falls in the air here in Alabama. This is the first cool day we've had. He's just, just like my shirt says, he's just tip. So we made the decision to get us a buck. That way we can do what we want to do here. You know, we want a buck so we can have our own babies. That way we can produce our own milk here for the farm. Not only we can use the milk for ourselves, one of the other plans we want to do with the goat milk is feed it to our, our, our Cornishes, our meat chickens. And also we're starting to dabble in to possibly start doing meat ducks so we can give that goat milk to them. I got the idea about the goat milk from the, the French breed the French Brees. Now, it's a chicken breed that's sought after. They won't let the breed allegedly outside their area, and it's uh, a certain region over there that where the chicken breed comes from. They bred the chicken to be the French colors, which are the red comb, the white body, and the blue feet. But that chicken is sought after by chefs over there, and it is super expensive. I forget what that stuff goes for for a pound. The way they finish that chicken off for the last four weeks is, is they feed that chicken corn and goat milk. And they claim that that really enhances the flavor of the chicken. The geese are so loud. And I'm hoping I can, I can, I can do that here on our farm with the Cornishes. Plus all of the milk that we're going to get here for ourselves that we can do what we want to do here. You know, we want to, we want to mess around with goat cheese, ice cream, creamer for our coffee. There's a lot that we can do with it for ourselves here on our farm. And two, we can have baby goats, which can be a good income for our farm, especially with the Nigerian dwarf, which is a sought after breed. People love this breed because, because of their size, because of their personality for sure. produce a lot of milk for their size. That's the other thing that's great about them. And their milk has a super high butter fat content, which is also sought after. Plus, Nigerian dwarfs love to dance. Terry had so many books to choose from, and we picked him though because of his personality. He's so friendly, super sweet. 
So that's why we got him. There were some that were prettier than him. He's just a solid white buck. But for the simple fact that he's so friendly that we didn't have to, we don't have to wrestle with him. So there won't be no fighting or chasing him uh, when we trim hooves. Cause you're gonna run across a situation where you're gonna have to catch your goats. Uh, they could be sick. They may need shots, you know, when we worm him, anything like that. You don't want to have to chase him around and around and around, and then when you do catch him, it's a fight. Because he's going to get bigger than what he is now. He's going to get the size of Tilt. The Nigerian dwarfs are a small breed, but still, you know, wrestling with a 50, 60, 75 pound goat still is no fun. <laughs> <laughs> Bo Jangles, which was Bo Peep son who stayed here for a little while until his owners could come get him because we sold him. So we sold him but we we're hoping that he had bred with Bootsy because they're not related. And for the for the longest time, I, I've mentioned in some other videos, we thought that she was bred but I'm almost positive she's not now because she's in heat right now. She's swishing that tail and the bucks are doing buck things and even though Tipper's fixed, uh oh. Even though Tipper's fixed, you know, if it, it, something's still in his DNA saying, you know, she's in heat. A lot of people ask me all the time is, is what do we feed our goats? We feed ours a medicated goat feed when we're not milking. When we milk, we swap over to non-medicated. But when we're not milking, we do use a medicated feed here for the simple fact is we don't have a huge pasture for ours to live in. Our area is kind of wet and coccidia is common in this area. It is a tough situation to deal with. To help prevent that, we do feed ours medicated, but only when we're not milking. But one thing I do want to stress is, especially if you have bucks, you want to make sure that your feed has ammonia chloride in it. Why you want ammonia chloride in your feed is, is because goats build up calcium in their system and it's basically just say kidney stones are to us. The females don't have an issue with this because the female urinary tract is straight out. A buck or a male goat's urinary tract is not like that. It's curved, almost like an S. When that stone's passing down the urinary tract, it tends to get stuck in the male's urinary tract versus the female's urinary tract. That's a bad situation with the males because it blocks them and they can't go to the bathroom. The ammonia chloride helps prevent that. And so not only do we check and make sure our feed has it, we also add goat minerals to our feed as well. We sprinkle it on a feed, just a handful every day. It also has ammonia chloride in it. So that's a little extra because we actually lost one of our most favorite goats because of this situation. I talked about this on my podcast. If you don't know, I do have a podcast. It comes out weekly. Link's down below. You can check the podcast out. So we loaded Earl up, um, had him in the back, let the seats down, rolled the windows down. We're headed to town, and he's hanging his head out the window like a dog. Those big Nubian ears just flapping away. Done. Goodness. Goodness. It's a little bit left, you want it? Okay. So Jolene, she's doing great. We're, uh, she's at the point now, she's over 12 weeks, so we're trying to wean her off. You know, you start out feeding her four times a day with the bottle, then we dropped off to three times, then the two. Now we're just feeding her one time a day with the bottle, just in the mornings. She's getting to be a big girl. Ain't that right, Jojo? I hear you, Jojo. <laughs> Chest on my chest Be 
my lover, yeah. be my best friend. I will wait on your border until you will let me in. Hand on my head, chest on my chest. Hey guys, if you got any goat tips or comments or questions, leave them down below. And if you don't know about our podcast, check out the links right down below as well. If you're new to the channel, like what you see, hit the subscribe button right here. And if you're interested in any Cock Hill Farm gear like this tip shirt, check out this link right over here. Guys, y'all be good. We left New York City.